Today we're gonna to be looking at this product right here, Lit, the world's glowiest glow paint. Well, pigment. You mix it with this, super base, and then it becomes a paint. So I'm gonna take you guys through my process of how I used it, and also how I applied it to Harley Quinn and the results. All right, so I just put my Lit in the tin can. Now I just gotta add this, the super base, and I got some water that I'm gonna add. So I'm gonna add about one part water and about uh, three parts super base, maybe even two. But yeah, the only thing I don't like about this is that the container, it is pretty messy. As soon as you open it, the dust, sorry, the pigment will just be all over the place. Now I did add, I did add too much liquid to this. So what I'm gonna do is just add a bit more pigment and then just thicken it up a bit. So I just redid my mix. So let's get it on here. Now it does go on a bit transparent. I don't know if that's gonna affect how it glows or not, or if I just didn't put enough pigment, but we'll see after. All right, so you can see where I applied it. It's all over the bills. Let's go ahead and do a test get these lights off and then see how it looks. Wow. So it's actually more intense than the camera's picking up. Well, I really like how that looks. Nice, nice glowing effect. Get the lights back on. The thing I forgot to mention is that this pigment gets charged by light. So I had this sitting out for a while and um, just for a few hours and as you can see, even in the light, it glows a bit. This is the box that I keep it in, along with some other stuff. All right, so now that I use it, let me give you guys my review and thoughts of this. Um, now, when I did get it in the mail, it was the jar was actually cracked, so the pigment was all over the package on the inside. That's not directly a reflection on the, on the company itself. The only thing I could suggest there is that just better packaging, and um, you know, because this is coming from the UK and I'm in Canada. Um, another thing too is if I would use it often in my work, I don't think this is something I would use often in my work. It is cool. It does give a really intense glow. So, you know, they, they score perfect on that to their claim of being the glowiest glow paint. Now, this is not really a product for me for what I do, but if you are into, you know, incorporating glowing into your paintings and um, you can find other uses for this, I would say go with this. The criticism that I have of this is that there's not really any clear cut instructions about how to mix this. Unless you go on their website, then it'll tell you what to do. So you, you kind of got to play around with things. Even when I did follow the instructions on the website, it still came out really runny at first. So I had to add more super base to it and add a bit more pigment. And then even when I laid it on, I didn't really like the consistency of it. And then even when you look up close, it's, it's kind of like a weird texture. I don't know if maybe if I did something wrong, but yeah, I, I just didn't like that. My final thoughts, if you really want to use something with an intense glow, I'd say go ahead and get this. If you're somebody that incorporates this into your work or any type of artwork that you do, then this is the way to go for me. Not something that I'm going to be using on the regular. Um, other than that, I'd, I'd probably give it like three out of five or so. It's not the greatest product I use, but it's also not the worst. And it is something that I would probably use again in the future. All right, see you guys next time. Subscribe. Peace.